Anytime we can learn more about a consumer, it should make our media more effective. Whether that's across insights or activation or measurement, it may be more effective because we're targeting a more precise audience or because we know something to add context that will help us deliver the right message at the right time. Traveler data is a great example. It helps across that whole process, whether we learn something else about the consumer that will help us contextualize or we can deliver them the right message in the right space. For example, you may want to give someone a different message if they're planning a vacation versus when they're on a vacation. And as it relates to commerce, while it's not retail media, it still has a tremendous value because we are getting a more holistic view of our consumer and the things that they're interested in. So let's talk about the role of first party data in the era of cookie deprecation. Yeah, first party data has always and will always be valuable, uh, but not every advertiser has first party data and not every advertiser has a robust set of data for their consumers. That's where I would say partner data becomes extremely valuable, Traveler being a great example of it. It helps paint a more robust and holistic picture of the audiences that we're trying to reach especially when we're getting something unique that we aren't able to get from another data provider or another partner that we're working with. What is the benefit of traveler, traveler audiences? I mean, what do you get? What, do, what can clients get from that in terms of the benefits? Yeah, it's a unique data set that we, we aren't seeing in other places, whether it's planning a vacation, whether it's purchases through a credit card you may have with a loyalty program, whether it's a physical location in an airport in certain cities, it's another way for us to contextualize who we're trying to reach and reach them in a relevant way. So talk about uh, reimagining the in-flight experience with immersive addressable advertising. Yeah, if you've been on a plane, I think it's safe to say you have a captive audience when you're on a plane. Um, and advertising has done a great job of a value exchange with consumers, right? Whether it's commercials for free TV or a commercial for sponsored content when you're streaming audio, there is a real opportunity for advertisers to add value with a captive audience on a plane, whether it's a pre-roll ad when they're watching a movie, lots of different things that I'm not creative and I haven't come up with, but I'm sure we will. Um, and then when you take the power of the data that also sits with the traveler and you layer those two together, I think there's a real opportunity to show impact. So how is shoppable video transforming commerce media? I would actually frame it differently. Okay. I would say that shoppable is transforming brand media. Uh, for the longest time, we've assumed that TV or CTV is this lean back experience and we don't want to take consumers out of what they're doing. But shoppable media and the growth of smart TVs, the growth of social video, is allowing us to create these environments where we don't need to take the consumer out of their viewing experience. We can say, add to cart, and so they're not being removed. Or we can even make an ad shoppable, which I would argue is enhancing the consumer experience and bringing more value to them so that they can buy what they see without having to go somewhere else. Um, the challenge really will be in measurement, right? As we look to measure these new formats, it's not what it was prior, just reach-based, and it's not lower funnel action type shopping or on a website. So we have to come up with new benchmarks. But it is an opportunity because it gives brands a new way to engage with consumers and consumers a new way to engage with brands.